Welcome to Royal News Updates. OMG. Utter disgrace, Meghan slapped down by Queen Elizabeth as Sussex's objections turn out to be fake. Before we start, please, like this video, subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon, thanks. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry would have probably carried out the ongoing tour of the Caribbean instead of the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge had they not left the firm, according to a royal commentator. Meghan and Prince Harry stopped being working members of the royal family at the end of March 2020. But one royal expert believes the Duke and Duchess of Sussex would have likely played a major role during the Queen's Platinum Jubilee had they remained within the royal fold as full-time senior royals. The Queen could have offered Meghan the role of a lifetime, leading the tour in Belize, Jamaica and the Bahamas, had the Duke and Duchess of Sussex remained as full-time working royals, according to commentator Tony Parsons. However, this royal yacht has sailed as Meghan and Harry are no longer working members of the firm, a move dubbed as Megxit. He wrote in The Sun, imagining them doing a grueling meet and greet all over the Commonwealth is just a crazy dream. But seeing William and Kate looking uncomfortable in the Caribbean was a reminder of the historic opportunity that has been lost forever. Historian and commentator Dr. Ed Owens told Express.co.uk the Duke and Duchess of Sussex would have been a great choice for the visit to Belize, the Bahamas and Jamaica being undertaken by Kate, Duchess of Cambridge, and Prince William this week. He said, the question I supposed that might have been asked is, if Harry and Meghan were still part of the group, would they be the ones on the tour to the Caribbean? Well, probably. Simply because Harry had built a good rapport already, with Caribbean countries. And Meghan is much better known in that part of the world. Dr. Owens added the Duke and Duchess of Sussex spark a great deal of interest among younger generations. The historian also said the decision of the Duke and Duchess of Sussex to step down represents a loss to the royal family. Meghan, in particular, could have helped the firm connect with people from around the world in a different way than other senior royals do. Dr. Owens said, Meghan is naturally a loss, she was a different kind of royal symbol to other members of the family due to her mixed race heritage. She could relate to people with a different heritage in different ways, in ways the House of Windsor, descendant from German, Anglo-Saxon, Northern European white heritage simply couldn't hope to connect on the same terms. Meghan and Harry first announced their intention to step back as senior royals in January two years ago. The pair said in a statement shared on their now defunct Instagram account they wanted to carve out a progressive new role for themselves within the firm. While they wanted to continue to represent the Queen with royal duties, they also wanted to become financially independent and live between North America and the UK. However, this solution was not deemed possible and the Duke and Duchess eventually stepped back from their roles, a move barring them from carrying out any royal engagement and tour. Moreover, they can no longer hold military and royal patronages. In turn, they are free to live abroad with their children and strike profitable deals. As noted by Dr. Owens, Prince Harry marked the Queen's Diamond Jubilee in 2012 by visiting the same countries included in Kate and Prince William's ongoing tour. In Jamaica, the Duke of Sussex met the Prime Minister of the country at the time, Portia Simpson Miller. Just months before the Duke's tour, the former political leader vowed Jamaica would become a republic. Despite her republican pledge, the meeting between Ms. Simpson Miller and Prince Harry was very cordial, with the Duke being welcomed by the politician with a hug. Recalling the visit to the country by Harry, Dr. Owens said, Prince Harry's tour to Jamaica in 2012 went down very well with the public. Much like the one being undertaken by the Cambridges, it was a goodwill visit, he added. Dr. Owens also said, the idea back then was to shore up royal support for the royalist cause through the tour. Kate and Prince William have faced protests during their ongoing tour across the pond. 
Prior to their arrival to Belize, their first destination, they were forced to cancel an engagement to a cocoa farm in Indian Creek due to protests staged by residents. As they arrived in Jamaica on Tuesday, protesters held a gathering near the British High Commission in Kingston to call for reparations for slavery. Thanks for watching, please, share your thoughts in the comments. Subscribe Thanks. to our channel.